probability of paternity for D. Laird as the biological father of Miles Laird. Zero percent. Oh shit. Oh. Zero point. Zero percent interpretation. <laughs> zero point zero zero percent probability of paternity conclusive. Excludes D. Laird as the biological. My boy crying, dog. All you do is lie. Wow, wow. Eric, I'm looking at the DNA results. I took him to get swabbed wow. when I picked him up the other day. I'm looking at the Get DNA you. test results. Yes. Get you. The same reason why you lying about you buying a house. You lie about everything. Wow. So now you're going to put it on me? Triple T G gang. We back in his stand. You already know what it is. If you do not know who I am, my name is Diamond. I run this channel called True to the Game. You already know why you came today. Today, man, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, what we're going to be reacting to. Before we get started, if you want my help directly, make sure you hit one of the links in my description down below to book a call with me. We're going to get you right. Also, make sure you go cop the merch, man. True to the Game merch is out. True to the Game is on the front. Stop simping is on the back. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Okay, today we're going to get to the bottom of it. I took Miles. And I don't care how nobody feel about it. Oh, shit. Oh. DNA test. Oh. I got a DNA test. The results is in. I feel like it's Maury right now. I mean, if you're cheating, let me just cover my face and see what's... First and foremost, shout out to him for getting a DNA test. Fellas, make sure you get that DNA test, man. Because you could be raising the next nigga's kid. Got to do it. <laughs> you want to make sure. Dear Mr. D. Laird, we are writing to provide you with the results of the DNA. The test was performed to determine the biological relationship between you, the alleged father, and your child, Miles Laird. Participants, alleged father, D. Laird, child, it's Miles Laird, mother, Eric Laird. <coughs> Summary of the results. After thorough, investiga after thorough analysis of the genetic markers using advanced DNA testing techniques, we have determined the following. Mm -mm. The probability of paternity for D. Laird as the biological father of Miles Laird. Zero percent. Oh, shit. Oh. oh shit. Zero point. Zero percent interpretation. <laughs> zero point zero zero percent probability of paternity conclusive. Exclude Steve Land as the My boy crying, dog. This will bring me back to the time. I don't know if y'all heard of the YouTuber named Jay Cook, but he had a he had a similar situation, same situation, dog. He found out that the child he was raising, his baby girl, was not his baby girl. And that's why I encourage and advocate for you guys to make sure that y'all go get a DNA test. Fuck what a bitch is saying, right? They like a lot of guys, they feel like, oh, I don't want to do that because I don't want the woman to feel like I don't trust her or we're supposed to be in a monogamous relationship. Bro, I'm telling you, you need to go do that. Right. In the situation with Jay Cook, it was like a one night stand type of deal. And she, of course, knew he was financially stable, knew that he was a good dude. He would be a good father and all of that. So knowing that she was sleeping with him and her ex who wasn't shit, who didn't have shit, she tried to make Jay Cook believe that this was his daughter and didn't even tell Jay Cook about the other dude she was sleeping with at the time until after he got the results back. And then she wanted to cause a scene telling him that he shouldn't go get a paternity test, right? Because she wasn't sleeping with nobody else. And luckily, he listened to his family because he was too weak of a dude to actually make that decision himself. Like, that should be a no-brainer, bro. Like, regardless, you should go check to see if that is your blood child. It doesn't make any sense not to, right? I don't need my family's opinion to go do that. I'm going to do that just off the strength of, I know what I did, right? Yeah, we slept together, but she could be sleeping with God knows who. And even if that was your monogamous girlfriend, you still do that, right? 
And if you feel some type of way, fuck you. I don't give a damn, right? If you feel some type of way, then I know that's a guilty conscience, which is exactly what she had, a guilty conscience. And the dude was just so torn up, just like this dude right here, crying and everything. Imagine buying all of this stuff for this baby and watching the baby come into the world, thinking that this is your baby, raising this baby for, I don't think, I think the baby was just a couple months old or whatever the case is, but bruh, you done rearrange your whole life for this baby, right? Only to find out that the baby is not yours. So fellas, y'all got to do this. Y'all got to do this, bruh. Right? And if anybody feels some type of way, fuck them. Because at the end of the day, you need to know for your own peace of mind. Right? Damn, huh. bruh. Hold on, let's go back a little bit. Oh, point. Zero percent wow. interpretation. Who that hurts? 0.00% probability of paternity conclusive. Mm. Exclude Steve Land as the biological father mm. of Miles Land. Mm. This results means that based on the genetics mm. evidence, T. Laird I want to know how old this child was. It doesn't really matter because you brought the child into the world or whatever the case is, but bro, imagine like you finding out that like your five year old kid is not your kid, bro. Your 10-year-old kid is not your kid. Cannot be the biological father of the child in question. Details of the analysis. Sheesh. The DNA test compared 20 genetic markers between the alleged father and the child. The analysis showed no matching. The alleles between d Ladd and Miles Laird. Which is consistent with the exclusion of paternity. Conclusion. You got your last name and everything. It's not even your son, bro. Based on the genetic evidence. Oh, Analyze. D. Laird is excluded as the biological father of Miles Laird. If you have any further questions. Man, that broke his damn glasses and shit, man. Fucking with this hoe. That's tough, bro. That's tough, man. Yeah. Breathe it out, man. Breathe it out. Uh oh, she gonna call he gonna call her? Well, I know he ain't gonna call her. Oh, I know he ain't gonna call her. Yeah. He finna go off. What are you doing? Uh oh. Oh my god. Minding my business. Oh! What? Let me ask you a question. I just want you to be straight up with me. Uh, what? What is it? What? 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 Mm. Have you been with anybody in the last four years other than me? Ooh, four years! Four years. Of raising a child that you think is yours and you just found out you've been raising another man's Wow, four years playing t-ball with the nigga, helping him take his first steps, hearing him say that, that, all to find out four years later that the little boy who has your last name, who you thought was your blood, is not. That shit stings. I can't imagine how he feels right now. I can't imagine. The embarrassment. Not only his personal embarrassment, but what his family's going to think. Like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, the embarrassment, bro. Wow. Wow. Yes. 
Let me see. In the last four years, yes. Oh. So while we were together. Mhm. Mm Damn. Yeah, you already know about him. I mean, you ain't been four years together, <laughs> but like within the last year, yes. But not in all uh, four years, no. Last in the last year, yeah. Why? You Why? Haven't, you haven't been with anybody else. No. Erica, oh, you know I got a DNA test on Miles. You should have FaceTimed her. I will call you saying that, okay? I'm looking at the paperwork right now. And Miles, Miles is not my son. Okay. okay. Wait, what happened? And Miles, Miles is not my son. Okay. Oh, he just said it. Okay. What do you mean, okay, bitch? Okay. Huh? I said, Miles is not my son. Stop lying. Oh, she didn't hear Stop him. Stop lying. I was about to say, because he said it kind of fast, because I didn't hear him either, so at first she didn't hear him. Okay. I said, Miles is not my son. Yeah, you had to slow it down. Stop lying. Stop lying. All you do is lie. Stop lying. Where are you right now? Obviously, you're projecting because you just lied to him saying you weren't with anybody besides the past year. You hadn't been with nobody else. But obviously, you was with somebody during the, probably the first stages of y'all talking or whatever the case is. And this is not his child. I'm going to falsify some documents for you because all you do is wow. lie. Wow. Wow. Eric, I'm looking at the DNA result. I took him to get swabbed. Wow. When I picked him up the other day, I'm looking at the yes. DNA test results. Yes. Did you? The same reason why you lying about you buying the house? You lie about everything. Wow. So now you're going to put it on me? Oh, she trifling. She cold, yo. I'm so hurt right now. I can't even address you right now. She cold. She cold. I'm looking at the DNA results she, right now. She cold. Mm -hmm. How do you explain that to your son? And then, are you going to walk out on the son because that's another man's son? Or are you still going to be there for the son? Like, what's going to happen now? This man needs a shot. He ain't yours. No, he's not. Zero point zero zero. What man is going to lie about that shit? Right? What man is going to, like, make a joke out of that? Zero percent chance that he is. Wow. So you tell me. Mm. Who's his dad? She don't know. <clears throat> Jerry, Who is his dad, Eric? Jerry, Jerry. It's supposed to be you. Supposed to be. Wow. But I don't believe the probability of error. Oh my god, is that it? Bro. No, that's it. Oh man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, bro. Wow, man. Look. Fellas, it's very, very important. Like I said, please make sure you get paperwork on your children or your supposed children. I don't give a fuck what the other family thinks. I don't care what your family thinks. I don't care what the fuck she thinks. Right? You need to make sure that you're doing everything that you need to do to determine whether or not this kid is your kid. I don't care if you've been in a relationship with this bitch for 10 years. Right? I don't care. It's not to say that you don't trust her or whatever the case is, but it's for your peace of mind, dog. So you don't end up in situations like this, bro. All right? Please, fellas, take heed to what I'm saying. Or not. Or not. And end up looking like him. Boo boo the motherfucking fool. Anyway. If you want my help directly, make sure you hit one of the links in my description down below to book a call with me. We're going to get you right. Also, make sure you go cop the merch. True to the Game merch is out. True to the Game is on the front. Stop sipping is on the back. I'm out this thing. Stay true to the game. <laughs>